Thank you, Megan, for taking the time out of your busy day today. But what we're talking about today is something that's quite new, actually. Um, we've come across it just recently, probably about seven or eight months ago, we signed up with an organization called CloudWords, and we're now one of their business partners, and we help implement the software. Um, and for those of you who, and I think most of our audience would probably be Marketo users, it's, uh, it's a pretty exciting thing. So localization with a Z, um, because this is all American, um, is a whole new segment. So you've had Salesforce automation, you've had marketing automation, and now you've got localization automation. So we'll, we'll talk about that. But um, in introduction to Megan, who is RMS's product manager, for the CloudWords, uh, the CloudWords product. And CloudWords is based in California, but when it comes to doing implementation, it would be us here at RMS who would do the installation of the software and the ongoing support and the training. Um, in introduction to that, I've, I've put some slides together here, and hopefully we can just have a bit of a chat, see how we go. Um, and uh, yeah, just just basically delve in into, in, into more detail about the product. So, um, Megan, in, in order to introduce you, um, what's stopping organizations, what's stopping customers from delivering campaigns in the recipient's language? Graeme, it's time and effort, you know, to send out multiple comms in different languages um, and and making sure that they're, they're right and correct for that specific country. Uh, it takes time and it takes money. And country companies just, don't have the time and money to be doing this. Uh, so it's just being sent out in English. Right, so people, so you're calling people, you're calling our customers lazy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm calling yeah. our customers lazy. Yeah, I'm sure that's not true for all of our customers. There's probably some that are doing translation, but for those organizers, and I was talking to someone in, in Singapore um, the other day, international, worldwide, well-known IT company using Salesforce and Marketo. And I specifically asked her the question, <laughs> do you in Asia send out? Now, she was actually Indonesian, and she said she could have taken the time to translate that stuff herself, but uh, who's got time? Yeah. Who's got time when you're, when you're a marketing manager or a marketing director and you've got 15 other campaigns going on? Um, who's got the time to do it? Okay, cool, well, that, uh, that makes sense. So. What's, so what's the benefit? Why should organization, clearly those people who are on the, the call today, um, why should they take the time and the effort to invest in something like CloudWords? So essentially your, your customers, um, people care more about you when you care about them. If you're sending out comms that speak to them in their language, then that resonates with them a lot more than just, oh, they're just sending out everything in English. Um, also, it's going to benefit your team internally. So, you know, in the long run, it'll alleviate pressure local on local and international teams. If you're waiting on your international teams to get back to you with translated content um, to deadlines when they've got so much other stuff to do, then it's putting pressure on everyone. Um, so having something that can automate this and do it for you or at least keep it all in one system is, is a lot more efficient and will alleviate pressure off everybody mm. in your team. Yeah, there was a, um, again, another international worldwide <laughs> worldwide company, uh, IT company, um, that's here in, uh, here in Sydney, actually. And so they're doing a lot of their translation in-house. Yeah. They, they get their colleagues to do it in Japan, for yeah. example. So, um, uh, so the time and the effort that it takes to coordinate the yeah the the process there is there really is no process it's you know you receive the English copy deck and this gets sent to the international countries you know you you have to wait on the international countries to send back version one of the translated copy this then has to be approved sent back to the country for them to approve come it comes back you have to pull it out of whatever format it's currently in and then put it in your system. Mm. It's a nightmare. Word, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a bit of cut and paste required yeah, as well. Yeah, lots of right? cut and paste. Yeah, yeah. And how about uh, commercially? What's the, the benefit of doing this stuff from a, um, you know, translating it into a, the language of the recipient? 
money. Right. <laughs> Conversions. Yeah. You know, you're, you're six times, people are six times more likely to buy from you if they see content in their native language, which you've got a nice little stat up there. Mm. Um, yeah, that came from the cloud words folks <laughs> themselves. And um, I was in Singapore talking to folks and it was quite interesting as a, it was on 24's webinar world event. And there was people even there. It's always funny, isn't it, that there's a, an event it's unrelated to this, so sorry, I'm on an aside now. You'll be surprised. <laughs> of course. But um, it was an event about webinars, which is always unusual. So, so people were actually attending, and lots of people were having things translated right there and then. You know, actually at the event, there was translators there translating things into yeah. Japanese and other languages. You know, it is going to be a little bit of effort up front, a little bit of an investment, but in the long run, you know, that will pay off. Um, yeah, with your customers and with your team. Mm. I think. Um, Yet another aside, my my father, who was uh, a very successful printer, actually, he, that was his chosen industry, um, he used to say that he could get by in English wherever he went until he ended up in both China and to a little degree in um, in Japan as well, where basically his his ability to converse with people and to write things and send it to them was just to write louder in English. So if you were given the choice, which, uh, which languages would you go to? So that they say that um, if you translate into these 10 languages, then you'll reach 90% of the world. Um, so these languages are English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, simplified and traditional Chinese, mm -hmm. <laughs> Korean, Japanese, and Portuguese. Wow. And there you go. Very good. That's, yeah. I've Ten. learned something today. 10 languages. Mm. And you get to 90% of, of the planet. Yeah. So how about uh, Swahili? <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. No, oh. to ask Michael. Yeah, no, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you haven't come across a language we can't translate into no, yet, I'm assuming. not yet. We need to find someone in Swahili. We do. Yeah, all right. That'll be a challenge. Um, okay, so, uh, thank you. So um, we're going to take a, del a deeper delve in a second and have a look at some of the screenshots. Um, but this gives a, a really nice example of what Michael does. So Michael Meinhart on the left-hand side here is the CEO of Cloudworks from California. And the gentleman on the right-hand side, for those of you who are Marketo users, you'd probably recognize Steve Lucas, who's the CEO or was the CEO of Marketo before it was acquired by Adobe. So um, rather than just take an English video, which clearly Michael has taken time and effort to actually get to you know, a senior guy as, uh, as Steve Lucas. He then decided to translate it into another language, close caption it. That's the sort of thing it doesn't take, well, it takes hardly any time, um, a, little bit of, a little bit of cost involved in order to get that translated, put it up in, a, in the, the language of the, uh, the choice of, of the recipient and see what happens. Again, it's more likely to grab their attention. Yeah. Yeah. Than uh, just seeing good. everything in English. Yeah. So going in a bit more detail now, because we're we're halfway through. Um, I figured I'd, I'd just take a bit of a description about what Cloud Words actually is. So um, it, at its very top level, basically it takes content out of your marketing automation or your CMS or your S drive or anywhere where you've got anywhere <laughs> where you've got the stuff that you've generated and you've built. Yeah. And then it translates that stuff, or it, it, it helps to translate that stuff. And then it puts it back where you actually need it. So potentially, you build yourself a campaign in Marketo. You wake up the next morning, and it's translated it into 10 different languages. What were those languages again? <laughs> <laughs> OK, you get the idea. Um, but the, it, it does a lot more than that besides, and that's what I want, Megan, hopefully you can help me to, to step through in a second, because it's uh, when, when you get CloudWords, it's also a bidding platform for multiple agencies, hundreds of agencies around the world. It, it's a machine translation tool, so it can translate things immediately. It's a process manager, so it helps you to process and, and manage the, the process of, of translation. And uh, it also remembers certain things, but I'll, I'll ask you to describe <laughs> each of those uh, in a second if, uh, if that's okay. So what are we looking at now? We're looking at the dashboard. So this is great. It, it's a top level visualization of what you've got in the works, you know, 
how many requests you have, what's in creation, what needs to be translated, what's in review, and you know who who you're waiting on to do that review. Mm. So, yeah. So you pretty much sit in there all day. You haven't got that much in there. Looking at ah, it's the sandbox. That's all. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, right. gotcha. All right. So, um, so what's next? What's the uh, what are we looking at? So it's pretty much five steps. Um, to use in CloudWords, it's, it's really straightforward. Um, so number one is source and destination. So choose your choose your material. So where's it coming from? Is it a local file on your laptop? Or are you, are you pulling it from Marketo, Oracle? Where, are you, where is your content coming from? So you select this and then... Oh yeah, I threw this one in. Sorry, that, that okay. probably threw you. So it's not just about the marketing automation engines, surprisingly enough, because that's where we spend most of resolution marketing's okay. time anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but it can also pull things, as I'd mentioned earlier on, from from any content management system. So we've listed a few there. Um, WordPress would be for most of our clients, but also Drupal, AEM, so in the Adobe world is, is significantly important. So that means that you're not having to take the, the content of the page, send it in a Word document to a translation company in Japan or something. Yeah. You point cloud words at it and then off it goes. So, and, it's, uh, and, and if it's not the online content, then of course you can send a Word document or a, a PowerPoint file or an InDesign file or indeed a video, so as you, yeah. as you saw earlier on. So anyway, back to your, back to your process. What's this one? Um, step two is to choose your method of translation. So CloudWords has three methods, um, external, internal, and machine. So you first, your external is, CloudWords is partnered with hundreds of agencies uh, all over the world that specialize in translation. So you can choose an external vendor, you can choose based on their ratings um, or somebody that you're familiar with. You know, if you have, a vendor that you currently work with uh, but would prefer to keep it all in the one platform, then you can choose to work with your vendor via CloudWords. Um, number two is, is a really common one that we see with a lot of our clients. Uh, they choose to use in internal translators. So this option allows you to communicate directly with your, your international teams straight through the, the program. Um, and the third one is machine. So on the spot, if you need something now, to go out in the next two hours, then this is the option that you choose. Because of Marketo's lack, I'm off script here. So because of, not that we have a script, <laughs> <laughs> you may have noticed. Um, Marketo doesn't have a workflow engine. It doesn't have an approvals process. No. So I'm not suggesting this would be tied into the Marketo world, but if you are doing translation, to try and do it without a workflow and without an approvals it's process. Hard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're doing it in you're doing it in Word then, yeah. aren't you? Uh, it, well, Word and, yeah, and Word. email. Yeah, Word. Yeah. Okay. Um, love the idea of being able to choose your own vendors because I know that international IT company that we were talking about. Um, they they have their own vendors that they're actually very happy with. Yep. But here, what we'd be surrounding them with a process that's back under their control. Yeah, exactly. And you'd be providing them with reminders and alerts mm. and follow-ups, deadlines that are actually all housed in one place and not scrambling through your email to try and find things. Yep. Cool. Cool. Uh, number three is select your ah, language. We could have chosen languages. Swahili <laughs> we, just to see yeah, whether right. it's there. Yeah, right. Um, mm. As Graham mentioned earlier, we haven't found a language that we haven't been able to translate into. Yep. Um, so here you select your language or your multiple languages to translate and off you go. Hmm. There's lots of Dutch. There is a few Dutch options, actually. Mm. We have Dutch people at RMSCC. I was looking <laughs> for the double Dutch version, but that's fine. What's this one? F finally, you, we've got to the workflow process. So, mm. you know, as, as you mentioned, this is probably one of the key struggles that companies have when they are doing translation and to keeping to a timeline and keeping you know, people in check and finding out or getting a clear vision of who is responsible for what and when is it due. Um, so CloudWords is, has this system where you can build your own workflow process and allocate people and allocate dates. So it's really mm. makes it easy to keep people in check. Yeah, okay. And see where you're at with each project that you're working on. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine if you're doing, and I know you're working with an international 
charity at the moment, not yeah. using cloud words, um, but trying to keep track of how many different countries do they have? Uh, seven. Right, yeah, seven. Trying, to, trying to keep track of that must be a um, little bit of a nightmare. Yeah. Um, cool, and what's this one? Number five, uh, this isn't really part of the process, this is the end, but w this is your translation memory. So everything that you've tr previously translated goes into a memory bank. Um, that way, next time you're doing a similar email or you know, using any sort of similar content, it just pulls it from your translation memory, um, saving you dollars and saving you time. So. so my proposals, for example, that I send to people, you may be horrifically known because <laughs> some of you will have received these. They would, those proposals have a, a fair bit of boilerplate inside them. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of description about who RMS is, what the what the history has been. So I wouldn't need to translate. No, that so you time. just need to translate that once. Yeah. And then yeah. the only difference would be is in the next chunk of content mm. that you change up each time for the different clients. Yeah. Okay. Saving money. Cool. All right. Um, Thank you. Um, I, th I think that was the end. Yeah, so, so basically in order to get going, so in order to, to think um, uh, how to, to get going, let's not try and boil the ocean. Let's not try and do all seven languages all at the same time, or indeed 10. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, take a single piece of content, get it into cloud words, do some translation of it, see how it goes. Um, here's another slide actually. And again, for those of you who know Marketo, you, you'll probably if you don't know Matt Zilli, you'll certainly have received a lot of emails from him. He's sort of the, the head of the um, uh, of the customer success areas. But here's another language that where, or, or another video that that Michael has uh, has had translated. It really doesn't take very long to actually get those things up. Put it into a, a nice context for the Germans, for the Spanish, and he's probably covered an awful lot of the world just in um, uh, just in in those in those two languages. So where where to next? Um, Get in touch. Get in touch with us if uh, we can facilitate a demonstration. If what we showed you wasn't good enough, um, uh, get started on the platform. Um, start with one language. Uh, start with one piece of content. Um, get used to the bidding process. Get your own agencies into the bidding system so that you can choose them. Um, and start working with, uh, with an approvals process. And as I put on that slide, Marketo, are you watching? We need an approvals process inside of Marketo anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, get in touch. Um, give Megan a hoy if, uh, if, uh, if you need any more information. But for now, thank, thank you. you, Megan. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.